the hizzle off oh, a shizzle dizzle we got an excellent show here today we're going to talk about uh what does separation look like hmm. so uh we're going to have everybody starting to my right introduce yourself uh black power brother captain abdullah sadiq um I'm just here trying to get some of this black nationalism, man. I'm here with the real press, not the not the press that's out to impress. Right, right, <laughs> black right, power. Right. Black power. Uh, it's your man. It's your man, Yango, man. I'm gl- glad to be here as of every week, and this time special here because we're doing it outside, enjoying the nature. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And uh, doing the show and coming. The, uh, was impressed. Had an opportunity to uh, have a conversation with brother Kate before the show, man. Very impressed with the brother's knowledge, man. Real enlightening, black power. especially for a young man, you know. So we give it to that man, but I'm um, looking forward to an excellent show. Okay, so my first question, because you know I always hear about separatism, mm-hmm. you know, separating. Well, what does that look like? I'm gonna ask you too, then, Yang. Yeah, man. I'm going to separatist, man. This is for the black people, all the black masses. Yeah. This is all. I'm asking this question. I want y'all to seriously ask yourself that question. Mm-hmm. What does it look like? You what do you, when you say what does it look like, what do you, what do you mean? You have well, to be a little start, more specific. Let's start with education. Okay. You wanna... Black Power, take the reins. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, and, and I want to thank both the brothers, Brother Black Son and Brother Younger, for having me on because I believe that any black youth who comes into the mindset of black nationalism mm-hmm. must have a, a guide or a sign or a signal to guide him into the correct form of black nationalism. And the brother asked the logical, legitimate practical question what does separation look like Uh educationally we have to get a former education Hmm. that is a former education that does not exclude either the uh african or black uh remnants of education because we're dealing with remnants Hmm. we're dealing with uh secondary uh sources primary sources we're not hearing it from the preacher's mouth Hmm. we're not we weren't there Mm -hmm. so uh when we're talking education a lot of the first thing that comes to my mind as a researcher on history is history. Mm -hmm. So I wanna start there. I think that the history that we should be teaching in this separate black nation Mm -hmm. has to be a unified uh, black history that excludes any uh, uh, other um, culture. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important because if we can say uh, Egypt or we can say Sudan or Kush was this or that, but not have the strength, knowledge and wisdom to take uh, Greece, Babylon and uh, and, uh, uh, Iran, which was uh, Persia, Mm -hmm. put them together and see how they uh, coincide, then we're not uh, teaching education, we're teaching separatism. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, would you say, I mean, I mean, well, let's look at, you say not to teach other cultures, but would you say, can we learn things universally, universal, like, let's say science, like, let's say China came up with the bird flu. So, I mean, do we teach that? Okay, well, Jim Jinping came up with the cure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do we teach mm-hmm. it unbiasedly? and say, okay, we're going to, you know, learn that, okay, this German phys- physicist or this Chinese physicist invented this mm-hmm. for the betterment of mm-hmm. uh, vaccines mm-hmm. or, 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 or some type of, I don't know, cures uh, or whatever. So, yeah. I, mean, I would say so. I, I think that, you know, one of the things that we would have to, as African people here in America, is to be careful of being revisionist. Okay. changing the history you know facts right, are facts right. that's the bottom line okay. i think when you say education though i think that we have to look at it in degrees looking at it the first step of since we're trying to achieve separation and total and complete empowerment of black people here in america is that like our 10 point platform teaches us in the platform i forget exactly what number it is it says we want an education that teaches the place of the black man, the black woman here in America and the true history of this decadent society. Right. So the first thing that has to be taught in, in going towards um, uh, achieving separation is how the black man and the black woman is looked at in America, the role that we play, and an accurate history, an accurate portrayal. My children go to a school here that, man, when they came back and was talking about Harriet Tubman and slavery, you'd think Negroes was whistling Dixie and having a great time picking cotton. Yeah, but yeah, don't we have, I mean, can't we just, uh, I don't know, have black teachers more black te- like you know talking about like the voting thing have yeah more black people not, it's not just black, black teachers though unless we control um like in our non-local objectives 
it says that we must control the curriculum. So it's not just having black teachers. We have to control the curriculum. We have to control what is being, what the school boards, what the public school boards, what they're saying is being sanctioned federally, statewide as a as a curriculum. So, so and we have it, to monitor and control that curriculum. So why not even get involved in some? That's exactly what we have to do. Oh, Involvement. Okay. You have to be. You we we have to be completely and totally involved. And the reason I say this is because you know I mean we, we scream separatism, but mm -hmm. e even as a black nationalist, I don't find what is so appealing about a separate state. You really know? No, I really don't. I, I want to stop. Mean, what, if, what, I could, so if I could jump in, yeah. I feel what's so appealing about the idea mm -hmm. is that you have a nation that is separate from a oppressing nation. Mm -hmm. But this is what we have to say about wait, the Wait, wait, wait! I got the gun on you, right? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> It sounds like you're trying to sell me a utopia. No, no, no. Um, now, a utopia is a euphoric thought. Mm -hmm. right. And that's something brought on by a euphoric feeling. The, so black uh, people are not oppressors? The, uh, the, the nation that I am visualizing mm -hmm. as a black nationalist mm -hmm. is a nation that is not going to be a uh, nation that is desirable. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at any nation that had to gain its independence, mm -hmm. for the first couple of years, there was nothing desirable about these nations. Right, right. Look at Haiti. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Look at Cuba. Look at all these places that took their independence because right. it was not given. The, for the first remained, uh, uh, for the first uh, part of their uh, independent rule, mm -hmm. there was no peace. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. the, even in nations that have been practicing so-called democracy for years, there is no peace. Mm -hmm. in even, the, uh, even, one even one thing I want to say, brother, okay. even in the American nation, mm -hmm. the so-called longest practice of democracy, there's no peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can say that even for Cuba, though. Even for yes, Cuba, China, yes, successful nations that have had revolutions and have had their own separation still had issues. Mm -hmm. you know well, you, you always going to have dissidents. Okay. I think one of the things that is appealing to, to me about a nation governed by African people for African people is that it's not going to be governed by the same uh, capitalist imperialist system. That's the first thing. That the whole system, the oh, whole government. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. You there, absolutely. It's not going to be. You got a lot of black bourgeoisie, black. And, and, and those right are on. people. Right those, on, yeah, brother. absolutely. Right but those are people that when you're talking about nation, you're talking about politics and how will this nation be governed. I think that that's the question that should be. Okay. So it's not. So it's it. not. You're not talking about a capitalist black nation. If we're talking about a capitalist black nation, why even separate anyway? Capitalism was founded on the backs, the sweat, and the labor, the exploitation of uh, uh, African people, mm, okay. the extermination and genocide <laughs> of the so-called Native Americans. So we to take that and try to form a black nation is is, is just foolish. It's ridiculous. Okay. So we're not saying that. The first thing we're saying is that we have a whole new government, a whole new policies, procedures, legislations, a whole new way that the people are governed. Right. That's 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 the allure. That's the appeal of having a black nation and having. Your people govern you. Those people that can identify with right. you and people you can identify with. People that have the same issues, the same concerns, and the same pressing needs that you have as a black man and a black woman. Yeah, but you know, most black people, man, they, they're indoctrinated with Christianity and Islam. Yeah. And so, no problem. I mean... No problem. In their religion, no, yeah. I find it be a problem because most Christianity and Islam teaches a theocracy. Yeah. yeah. It does. It, it mm -hmm. teaches a theocracy, mm -hmm. period. Mm-hmm. And the problem I have as a black nationalist atheist mm -hmm. is that, you know, we, we, we're basing, uh, 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 when you say a theocracy, you're basing uh, legislation and, and, and constitution based on a, a deity. Mm -hmm. Something you can't check, something you can't appeal, something you cannot, you know what I'm saying? But I don't I'd think rather a black have nation, my checks and balances amongst a council, yeah, a council who I can which, check, right? which, which would be a, a black nation, which is African communalism. I don't think a black nation would be a theocracy. Most black Christians and black Muslims and black religious people, and I know these you black people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, don't look at their religion from a political, social, economic standpoint. Right. They look at it from a spiritual standpoint. We're some of the most and Christian and, and, and theocratic right. standpoint. Right. We're some of the most Christianized people, some of the most Islamicized people that you ever want to that you ever want to meet. But we don't look at when you look at the Arab. The Arab has not only got his spirituality. Mm -hmm from his religion, but he looks at it from a political economic standpoint. When you see the things that they're doing, they're fighting for their independence in a way that they understand their independence to be. They're fighting right. for political advancements, social advancements. When they say that they want the Sharia in place, that is a political 
doctrine. That is a political, it's their form of, their version of a constitution or a legislation. So they're fighting to implement those particular things. I don't believe that you throw the baby out with the bathwater. I don't believe the constitution was written for us. I don't believe the constitution applies uh, to yeah, us. Say, but say but let me say, Quran and the Torah absolutely, and absolutely. And, and, and they may not have been. But, but here's what I'm saying. So I don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I understand all that about the constitution. But one thing this, this, this devil has understood, this European has understood, he understood the temperament of a people. Mm -hmm. And in his first amendment, he guarantees the right of freedom of religion, mm -hmm. freedom of speech, and freedom right. of assembly. So you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. What's right and exact is right and exact. In a black nation, those principles withstand the freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, okay, and well, freedom of religion. You said you said the Constitution wasn't written, but then same principles, but the, the Constitution was written on certain principles because they were fleeing. Certain uni exactly, certain univer universal, universal principles are universal not, principles. Right, but not only religious oppression, but also theocracy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. were, they, were, they, were, they were leaving witch hunts, mm -hmm. you know, being persecuted because I mm -hmm. was a... Pro pro uh, instead of a Catholic, I was a Methodist. Protestant, yeah. a Methodist. Yeah. Right, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, I find that appealing. Because Absolutely. I don't want to be ruled by no religion. Absolutely. You know but I, in a black nation, you wouldn't be. In a black nation, a black nation is all-inclusive. The only criteria to be in a black nation is to be African, to be black. You know what I'm saying? And you so come into so, so the so black... homosexuals can be there? In a black nation, black are they are they black homosexuals? Yeah, black homosexuals. I, me, I said, me black personally, homosexuals. if I was on a panel, a council, a parliament of yeah. anything in a black nation, I wouldn't discriminate against right. the homosexuality because I've said before on camera and will say it again, I am not the bedroom police. Right. I don't peep through your windows. I don't find out who you're sleeping with. My personal beliefs are, do I condone it? No. Do I agree with it? No. Will I teach it to my family? No. But will I will I um, oppress someone? Will I exclude someone from their rights of, of, of freedom okay. based on their sexual orientation? No, I'm not that brother. I'm a freedom fighter. I believe that everyone has the right to self determination and choose their and choose their lifestyle as long as you don't infringe and impose that lifestyle uh, on other, that other people. Good. So how 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 do homosexuals look at this new nation of yours? Brother. I view homosexuals as one of and this is my personal opinion. Okay, okay. I, I view homosexuals as one of the reasons and that why the black nation cannot we, we all all are metaphysicians. All our mm -hmm. metaphysicians, all of our so-called highly enlightened people, we all talk about gender and gender division. Mm -hmm. right, but right. out of everything metaphysically, why have we not understood this one thing? That uh, we are dealing with the woman and the man. Right. The only difference between the woman and the man's physical body is that the woman is more developed than the man. Uh, this is why the man's parts are on the outside and not the inside. Mm -hmm. This is why he does not have breasts and cannot produce milk because the woman is. Uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting to it. Hold on. <laughs> you got it right. right. We only got out. Okay, hold on. Because now the, the woman, the woman is the uh, uh, advancement of the man. Mm -hmm. I feel like what happened uh, is with religion when we went from the mother to the father. So you're talking about a belief. now. It sounds like a belief. Okay, now now this homosexual belief, uh, way of life, whatever you want to call it, uh -huh. is hindering us from rising. How can we exclude okay, a whole explain, group? Was, of, was, how can we exclude a whole group of people? In a nation where we need every hand on deck, yeah. we, like you say, the bedroom police. We become a bedroom police nation. Mm -hmm. We're always worried about what a brother or sister's doing in his bedroom, right. but oh, not right. worried about what he's doing on the public right. arena. Right. We need to worry more about what what, what happens or uh, what happens outside of the bedroom, and we wouldn't even be sitting here talking about excluding homosexualities. Mm -hmm. We should not exclude any black man Absolutely. from or woman from this child, any black being from this uh, operation and I truly do believe that and we need to all adopt that mentality I really believe that it's mm -hmm. not for a uh, respectable and a uh, uh, upright form of na black nationalism truly okay okay because um all right because I mean the reason why I bring up the education first is because you know when you look at Cleveland and the situation with the water you know my my first Cleveland Detroit. Oh, I'm sorry, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, it's so close. It's coming. It's coming. Y'all got dirty though. water. It's coming to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> we just have dirty water. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah, the whole right. nation knew about dirty water. It's all this stuff they talking about now. Yeah. I remember in Cali, you know, yeah. turning on the water yeah. and it being brown and yeah. all that yeah. and smelling yeah. bad. I remember that. Yeah. So I know what they going through, but I, you know, what what we don't talk about is that the corporations in Cleveland. Mm -hmm have filters yeah mm. we we don't talk about that mm -hmm. you know so they have made a preparation before this fiasco even happened with the dirty water yeah. you know yeah. you get you got and so my thing is you know in order to 
have that type of defense because we talk about the Black Panther Defense Party. One thing that we have to be environmentally defend ourselves yes. too, and that's yes. educating on how to build filters. And I know the brother you came with a plan with mm-hmm. that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but that that takes science though. Mm-hmm. You know that mm-hmm. takes science. Mm-hmm. You know, so I want to you know I want to make sure and that technology, any, technology, yeah. anything. Right. I, I think that a, a, a true black nationalist, anything universal is universal. Okay. okay, you know what I'm saying. Facts are facts. I don't think facts don't have a color. Wait a minute. Facts don't yeah, have yeah, ethnicity. Wait a minute, right facts are facts. So if I show you the 24 species of humans, the Neanderthal, the Homo erectus, you, you factual, you know, it's in the Smithsonian. It goes against your Koran there. No, I mean, if you show me the 24, I'll say no. i say show me the first species. Exactly. And when you show me the first species, I'll tell you Allah man. created that. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, I mean, that's yeah. cool. That's yeah. cool. No, I no, mean, all, all creation. I'm sorry, but, but some people, yeah. no, no, what you're saying, yeah. you, 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 you do it like Gideon. You, you, you apply it. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah. I have no yeah. problem with yeah. that. But all I'm saying is that, you know, don't not look at the bones. Mm. Yeah. Just look at the Bible and say, oh, no, we were the only species mm-hmm. of humans. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't no, do that. no, I... Because the, the Smithsonian blow you out of the water. Yeah, but I mean, you know, when... when, when the brand top is a blow out of the yeah, water. But okay. when you look at the... Even coming in, not to turn to a religious discussion, when you okay. look okay. at the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, He talks about the Big Bang, He talks about the explosion. Right. And when Allah talks about this explosion and He talks about how life came from the water, you see what I'm saying? So Allah, scientifically, everything is in the Quran. He talks about, I remember a story of Jacques Cousteau when he went in the, in the, went down and he saw that the salt water was separate from the fresh water in That's the ocean. Right, yeah. And he came up and he was astonished. He said, man, I saw the salt water was separate from the fresh water. Well, one of his crewmates was a Muslim. Right. And he said, he said, would this baffle you? And he went and showed him in the Quran what Allah says. Okay. The fresh, and you're talking 1,475 years ago. So it's in there. It's what, I, like I tell uh, us as African people here, we get so, my mother used to say, you get so heavily bound, you're no earthly good, baby. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we get so caught up in the um, spiritual. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, even we can even get, you know, caught up in, 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 like I said, the mysticism of it, that we don't look at the applicable and the practical. And it's all in there in the Quran. Right, right. And the reason I bring this up, because you have a real nation. That 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 is so religious that they just off the chain. Yeah. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. You know they got religious police and they got, you know they got people that Philippines. will. Philippines. Right, the Philippines, right and they got here. people that will mm-hmm. accuse you of witchcraft and execute Oh, you. brother, yeah. and right now in Papua New Guinea, I watched the Al Jazeera article. Right. Everybody can catch it where they're talking about the witch the witch hunt yeah. currently. Right. So yeah. how do you? I mean, I mean. So you know what? That, no, but Saudi is not so. Saudi is not so. All of it's political. All of his yeah, political. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but if Saudi but, 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 was so religious, they wouldn't have a monarchy. Very I understand. Prophet that. Muhammad al did true. away with monarchies. Okay, but how do you stop the religious police from arresting people on witchcraft, though? You get rid of the religion. Exactly. You, you, get, you are you d- practice, or you, are you really implement the religion? You know what I'm saying? Like the Quran Why teaches us. Why not just keep it tri- separation, church and tri- state? I, I, I would agree with that. But if you implement the religion, the Prophet Muhammad said there's no compulsion in religion. You're not allowed to... Uh, forcefully uh, uh, compel someone to convert to Islam. So how did Saudi end up the way, what they doing there? I Money, believe, politics. I believe what the brother is saying about politics is true. In 2013, the Saudi government had set oil prices, which were at $80, which were at $100 a barrel to $80 a barrel. Okay. Now, I might add, uh, right now, the price of oil, I believe, is under $20 a barrel. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is killing one of the largest uh, markets in the world, and right. uh, uh, while it's doing that, it's killing the black countries yeah. so uh if we're looking at how how uh, vicious saudi is i'm gonna have to side with the brother yeah. you're looking at a absolutely. religious state you're right they're religious state and they're absolutely vicious Brutal. and they and they use allah as the uh forefront That's for them and that is why i agree with this brother when when i say this you get rid of the political religion and put in the real applicable exactly. religion it's, and that's no, all no, it is. No, no, but what I'm saying, no, no, I'm saying is I don't object to the religion, but I don't want it to be a, a, a government institution. And something for them to use as a scapegoat like as well. Saudi, right, they exactly. Like Saudi. It, exactly. So but I mean, you any any place that the thing about a theology is like what you go back and why I don't believe in uh, theocracies. Right. Because it's left to the interpretation from a man of what God told him. Man, you look at any theocracy, 
even Islamic theocracies, all of them are governed different. You can look at Saudi, right. and it's governed different. Then you look at right. then you look at Iran, right. mm. which is the Islamic Republic. Why, are, if they practice the same religion, why, why are the difference? governments different? Because it's all political. <laughs> we get caught up in religion. We're the ones when they tell us Islam has no color, brother. Hmm. Islam has no this. Islam has no that. Same with Christendom. We get caught up in the religion, and we we we're true to form, man. We're sincere in mm -hmm. all of that, but all of that is for their political nationalist advancements. Okay, and this is why I use, I, I, I always, you know, because this brother's going to be like, damn, he's always just homosexual reference. I only use this reference is because Yanga said earlier that the Constitution was made for us. A person can argue and say it wasn't made for the homosexuals either. Well, but, but I can argue and say that they never put it in there that it was not made for them. But right. they had pieces in the Constitution and other uh, official U.S. documents <laughs> which said no blacks this, black this, that. That's true. Right, and they right. never That's put true. anything That's about true. gay people. In, 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 and this is the reason why it was a little bit easier for them because there was never nothing for them to go back and, and document mm -hmm. and take out. Whereas we are actually physically having to deal with the vernacular and contextual yeah. uh problem with the democracy mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. damn that's, that's the biggest issue that's a good so point. Why, okay, now, now i got to ask you this so why do the homosexuals always equate their struggle to the civil rights struggle why the same the same way that the white man can say white lives matter because uh, oh. because because the, the the gay person feels the way that the white man does mm -hmm. uh they feel this black person who claims to be oppressed you call me a faggot but now wait a minute I will call my own brother a nigga, which is the same word that was used to oppress us, but now that is not listed as a hate crime. Mm -hmm. Now it is, but when we say it in the street, do you see police jumping out saying, uh, get over here, young man, for saying nigga, we take you to jail. But if you got your pants hanging down mm -hmm. in some states, they'll take you to jail. Yeah, that's true. See, uh, we are losing touch on what politically matters in the context of the Constitution. Yeah. They're trying to pass laws, and they have passed laws, the Obama right. administration, to diminish the rights of not only uh, the people who the Constitution was written for, but to also put a false cover over our heads to believe that the rights that everyone else is losing actually belong to us at mm. one point, and they did not. Right. Yeah. 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 It's a good point. It's a very good point. It's a good point. Very good. So, let me ask this question then. Um, I mean, we got a black president, Condoleezza Rice, yes, Colin Powell, Powell, yes sir, Eric Holder, Eric Holder, Eric Holder, Holder yes, sir. Clarence Thomas. Yes, I mean, we sir. got yeah. black people in high positions. You yeah. niggers, but more than you, uh, you legalized <laughs> marijuana. Right, right, right. <laughs> Pull that out, sorry. What more do you want? I, you know, and that's funny oh, that you right. say that, but that's that's good for the reformists and the integrationists. I'm asking him, Yang. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Take it, yeah, I, I wasn't uh, clear on the question, brother. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. We've had Obama, Clarence Thomas. We had plenty of niggers in power there. You know, mm -hmm. we legalized marijuana. What more mm -hmm. these niggers want? We're trying to the place. I, if you were to if you were to ask me, which I would be considered a so-called nigger or, or Negro, American Negro, niggers. if you were to ask me what I wanted. I wouldn't be able to give you a simple direct answer mm -hmm. because of what I want actually relies on what this brother wants, mm -hmm. what you want. Right, By saying what right. I, I want to have the uh, ability to get any car I want. Mm -hmm. I want the most beautiful woman in the world, mm -hmm. but that's what I want. What about what you want, brother? What do you want? Mm -hmm. That's where we lost it. I, we, we say, what, what do I want? Mm -hmm. I want to be free. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I said what do the but, niggers want? But, but see, but now, that's hard for me to say what we all want as so-called Negroes because some of us don't feel that we're oppressed. You see the wall we yeah. come into? That's yeah. right, that's right. And then, so it's hard for me to speak for uh, the oppressed because we have to define right. what who o is the oppressed. oppressed. I'm going to tell you Wait, like you this. you mean the term Black Lives the, Matter don't speak for our politics? Uh, the, the Black Lives Matter speaks for the, uh, the uh, small majority of people who are being defined or having what is defined to them what freedom fighting is. Mm -hmm. They do not okay. speak for the real revolution right. because the real revolution <laughs> will not be televised and has never been televised. Mm -hmm. The last time they televised the revolution, it was called the hate that hate produced and they never put the man on again. <laughs> right, okay? Right. So they don't never televise revolution. Uh, uh, they, if if they did televise revolution, we'd be revolting. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, so, in, in, in my in my opinion, I think that, especially speaking, uh, you know, as as a member of the party, um, what I would like to see, and what a lot of my comrades that I talk to would like to see, is an end of the willful, intentional obstruction and hindrance of an African people, or black people here in America, to develop naturally, mm. regardless okay. of what that looks like. Stop targeting us hmm. stop your legislation targeting us economic exploitation oppression murder everything we are being hindered from naturally evolving 
to have to practice self-determination. Let us figure this thing out. Like America had the right, like when they came over here and started to form their country, they didn't have anybody hindering and obstructing them after they did their revolutionary war from the natural uh, evolution of white America. Okay, but you talked about like legislations and all that and things that hinder us. Why, you know, I know watchdogs were meant. I mean, you, yesterday you mentioned about having people in certain positions yeah. to make sure agents that or politicians yeah. Yeah, yeah, will be yeah. the same as a yeah. politician. Yeah, yeah. Well, or agents or yeah. watchdogs. And I, what, what I'm trying to uh, get at here is is why not put people because you got the uh, uh, ACLU, the Jews mm-hmm. do it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The homosexuals mm-hmm. got their people in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the feminists got their people in. Every Everybody's group. injecting mm-hmm. their groups to yeah. make sure that their interests, mm-hmm. their right. best interests. It's is, by is, design that the black man and black woman hasn't done it. They've kept oh, us. Man, the black they kept us all up in that system. They, they kept us. It's by design that the black okay. man and the black woman had, had, have emphasis not. Emphasis on the black man. Right, right. Emphasis okay. on the black man have made us apathetic to politics. That we oh. don't see the connection to like what uh, Deputy Chair Fred Hamp said when he said politics is everything and everything is politics. We don't see the connection to our everyday life. You know what I'm saying? And and I, and that's by design. A lot of our people are just, um, and, and not saying ignorant in the bad term, but ignorant in the sense of not knowing ignoring. or the sense of ignoring. being, right, ignoring. <laughs> Ign- you know, literally ignoring the politics that affects us. You know what I'm saying? And the politicians that we do have, the people that we do have, uh, so called so representing us. By design, younger? Our apathy, I think so. Okay. I think that it's our apathy for politics is encouraged and promoted. So by design, mm. we, we are materialist mm. and we're consumers. Right, if you right. keep feeding the debauchery of a people, you keep feeding the uh base desires mm. of a people. You know what I'm saying? You if you keep a people sleep, if you keep us with them new Jordans, them PlayStations, that new caddy coming out. It's supply and demand though, Yang. I mean, yeah, yeah it's though. supply and demand, but we have to understand well, how the supplies Jordans. we have to understand how the supplies get here. Why? Right. Why we're targeted? We gotta understand why the honeybee is rapping now. You know the honeybee raps. Right, right. Cheerios. He's a rapper now. So we have to understand how we're being targeted for more consumerism and more t- materialism, and get more involved with the political process. The people but who are that, representing is that us human rights politically. No, I mean you're you're you're, you're, you're a I, merchant, and you're selling merchandise. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a human rights violation. I'm not saying that. It's. I'm saying it's by design. Am I saying that it's their fault? Everybody has the right to the propagation and continuation of their race. Can I blame the white man for being a white man? Absolutely it's not. like blaming a dog for being mm-hmm. a dog. If a dog chases a car or chases a cat and eats <laughs> dog food, a dog does what a dog does. I'm saying that the black man is up for the black man and the black woman here in America to become responsible for their own destiny. And they have to understand the importance of having a knowledge and the inner workings of politics, especially American politics, to at the very least expose the hypocrisy and the contradictions in American politics, how it relates to the black man and the black woman in America. And I say this, that um, when, when, when we do that, when we get involved, then we start to put pressure on these so-called fake leaders who represent us, and we have to understand, especially as nationalists, black nationalists, that these people in these uh, positions who profess to speak on our behalf for the masses of the people, the lumpen proletariat, are, are reformists and integrationists. Exactly. We don't have black nationalists exactly. using um, our involvement with politics as a strategy for complete and total separation. Well, hold on. Black nationalism is a lot like, and, and I want to talk about these black leaders. It's like that house right there, right? Mm-hmm. That house behind you. Let's just say there was an apple tree there. Mm-hmm. You, me, and Yanga can go right now and just pick off that apple tree. Now, if there was uh, residents in there with a gated community with a dog in there, you see what I'm saying? That's a lot like the black poli- the the black leaders are, are not uh, 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 doing what we want them to do because we're not there to, to to enforce it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're just looking like, oh man, mm. there's nobody in the we've yard. Almost, we've almost. I'm gonna keep using your metaphor. I love okay. that. We've always done that. We've always moved out of our house, right. using the metaphor, and gave it to someone. Else. And it hasn't always been the white man. Mm. Now it's the Korean. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, right, right. Now it's the era mm-hmm. with the stores. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've always moved out of moved out of our house mm-hmm. and given it to somebody else. This is the problem. Let's find out who the real landlord is, yeah. right, not right. the person who's in the house, because that brother could just be renting. Yeah, we want to find, and even if you're paying a mortgage, right. you're still renting. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Okay, so. Um, we need to find out who the landlord is. That's been the biggest issue, I feel like, religiously, economically, socially, uh, geographically, interpolitically, internationally. Mm-hmm. We don't want to say uh, the human family owns the land. So therefore, let's uh, uh, split it up equally. 
Now, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and I want to conclude in saying this. A good example is this, is Egypt and Sudan, right? Currently, right now. Right, right. Now, Egypt has most of the water supply from the, um, the uh, Nile River. Mm -hmm. This is their claim, mm -hmm. that the nation will completely fall without the whole Nile River, which is the <laughs> right. largest river in the world. Right, right. And Sudan is uh, two or three times larger than Egypt and has um, almost three times less to share mm -hmm. than Egypt has. How can a nation that big have uh, people with no power mm -hmm. in a nation in an area of the world with the longest river? Mm -hmm. This is that same I want to own the sandbox. I want to be the king of the hill, live in the house. I don't even want to know who the damn mm -hmm. landlord is. I don't even want to lease. Mm -hmm. Some of us are even squatters. Mm -hmm. We don't even bring a backup plan. We just go sit in the dang line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we squatters yeah. sometimes. Yeah. We got to uh, find out who owns the land. Then we go tilt the land. Then we build on the land. Mm -hmm. But to do it backwards and, and, and go and tilting on the land and walking on the land that's not ours, like you said, brother. Mm -hmm. This is not our land. Mm -hmm. No matter how much we built this, we don't own any documents saying that. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. it's not ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Right>. Legally. <laughs> So, on a, because I know you know we we talk about the Republic of New Africa, mm -hmm. and we talk about the purple site. So, because I hear a lot of economic, economics, economics, you know, capitalism. You know, we know there's a, you know, even even white people are <laughs> feeling the sting of that. They're yeah. really realizing this. One hundred percent dissatisfaction. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely, and, and they're calling that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I like about it. They're calling that out. Well, yeah. and they should. And they should. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess my question would be, well, how, what is, what does this economical structure look like? I mean, I know we talk about African socialism, mm -hmm. cause you know, we, I mean, even as, as separate people, wouldn't we still have to have import, exports, <coughs> trade? Absolutely. Tourism? Agriculture, all Agriculture. that. Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Medicine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Emergency aid. What? Emergency aid. I think any nation would deal, any nation would deal with other nations. You know, that would be government policy. But I want to go back and touch about yeah, like we you were to talking talk about. Yeah, black supremacists here, though. Remember, we got, yeah, you yeah, know, you, you, we, you we got, got to, I mean, but that's where they would have to come to the table and show that their plan is really feasible and not just a bunch of rhetoric mm -hmm. and demagoguery. Right now, we got, you know, a lot of... Uh, Black supremacists and a lot of people are with black Donald Trumps whipping the mm. people up in emotionalism, right, right, and right. it sounds oh, good yes, and it feels yes, good right, and yes, it yes, feels yes. good to be angry, but yes. there's no practicality to it. There's no really end game. Like you and I always, what's the end game, mm. brother? Right, right. What's the end game? So it goes back to that when we talk about this hundred percent dissatisfaction or dissatisfaction amongst white people. It's not just enough for white people to be dissatisfied, but their ideology has to change. Dissatisfied white people, you have to understand the Germans were dissatisfied, mm. and that's how Hitler came into place. Right. Hitler, so dissatisfied white people do what? They blame the Mexicans and say, let's build a damn wall. They blame the Muslims and say, let's stop importing Muslims in. It's the Muslims' fault. They don't look at capitalism right. as being it's the never downfall. Fault. Right. It's, never, you know, it's not their system. So we have to be so, not just their dissatisfaction, but their whole re-education. But my whole thing with that is, I mean, you know how I feel about that, and it's not about a hate of white people, it's just about a nature of white people, and white people, no matter how liberal white people may be, they still have a thing what's called white privilege, they still have a thank God I'm white type of attitude, and so you're dealing with that attitude, and I think the only salvation for African people or black people here in America is to separate themselves from a people who have a sense of entitlement. You have to get away from these people who have a sense of entitlement, who are always going to have that superior, inferior um, um, right, type of thinking. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what America's based on. Capitalism, imperialism is also one of the ingredients of that gumbo is a white male, not just white supremacist, but a white male supremacist way of thinking. And I think what you get all together in that is mind control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you can when I can say to you. Uh, Fritz, Spring, Fritz Spreemeyer wrote a book and he talked about mind control. He said, if I can marry something onto you, you become in a relationship with it. Mm -hmm. And they call those altars. We have had an uh, altar set up in our mind that uh, white is right and black should take you back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it can, you can even give the simplest example and I'll conclude for you to go to the next session, brother. But look, angel food cake yeah. is white yeah. and devil food cake is black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to look uh, for that complex. Flakes. Frosted mm -hmm. flakes are okay. great. But you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Right. I had a problem with that, brother. And hey, that's a new one, bro. I mean, it's... Oh, shit. You got me with that one. That's a new one, bro. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs. So, so okay. Um, um, and I know I don't, I don't have to... Just, I mean, you guys are Panthers. We're Panthers. I don't have to discuss it. Because I always had to... When I had Mom and Jerry on, I always had to talk about military and defense. Mm. Yeah. So we can skip that. So yeah. we can we can talk more about... 
Um, like I said, I wanted to deal with more sciences, more like, you know, yeah. medicines. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because I mean, this is the concern I have. When I think about a nation, I'm thinking about, you know, hospitals. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about education. Infrastructure. Systems, infrastructure. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking yeah. more because like, I know we can fight. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. We can fight. No but, doubt. You know, sure. and even if, you know, so, but but I don't, I want to talk more about, you know, uh, just the sciences. You Absolutely. Know? You know? I think, you know, one of the things that happens to us a lot of times, like I said, man, especially over the airs of YouTube, I like what you said, utopic. You know, we have these utopic visions, mm -hmm. man. Right. We have people sitting out there spitting the rhetoric. We're angry. Black people in America are angry. So we have people that feed that anger. Hmm. They get off on that. They become YouTube celebrities. Hmm. And, you know, they're sensationalists, what I call sensationalists. They're demagogues. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they spit this rhetoric and everybody, and they got a million hits because everybody loves to hear this shit. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, they're still going back to their white jobs. Right. Hmm. They're still doing, you know, all of that and oh. no bringing no, no real, change. no change or no <laughs> real ideas for change. We don't, you know, my thing is this. I'm not talking about going back to the Stone Ages. And I've heard people say, we just need to just step go away from woods. everything, go right. in the woods and step away and go back to spears and, so, and set ourselves back millions of years. I'm not saying that. It's called the human race for a reason. Hmm. Right. And we are in a race. It is the human race for a reason. We're in a race. Every ethnicity is in a race. So you can't, we can't get upset with the white man for being in a race. We have to be up with ourselves for trying to run a relay with the white man. We oh. want him to pass the baton. We want to pass the baton to him. Quit running a relay with the white man and get in the competition. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Get your own track, get on your own side, lace your own sneakers mm -hmm. up, and run the damn race mm. for the black race. You know what I'm saying? For the race that we're in for survival. This is not <coughs> about being a cool thing. You know, I'm not a panther because it's the hip thing to be. I'm a panther because it's imperative for the survival and continuation of my people and my seeds, you know, my children. Mm -hmm. That they have to learn that our culture has to be a culture of empowerment. Mm -hmm. Our culture has to be a culture of revolution. Our culture right. has to be a culture of freedom. Our culture has to be a culture of self-determination. And right now, what we're being bombarded, bombarded with, with, you know, our black president, with the Black Lives Matter movement, is a culture of integration a culture of reformists and a culture of compliance and fitting in and how can we all get along and please accept us mr everybody yes sir compartmentalization exactly. that's, that's what they've done they have compartmentalized uh like i say not only the black and to be honest they have tried these mind control tactics out with the white man before it ever that's came true. down yeah, on yeah. us yeah. Yeah. okay yeah. so we are really uh not the guinea pigs like we think like that victim complex mm -hmm. you talked about yeah. we're not always the uh freaking victim who we are gonna have to start doing is like the brother said uh one thing about hate is hate can be stronger than love hate is remembrance if mm -hmm. i have an ex-girlfriend and i love my girlfriend currently mm -hmm. there's some days where I'm, i don't even know i got a girlfriend sometimes yeah. i gotta go baby how you doing now with my ex-girlfriend i'm always constantly thinking of her yeah. because I hate her yeah. therefore I remember her so if hating is to remember let's side with that kind of hate mm. and get out of this uh, this aggressive radical hate that is starting to make uh, those of us who are supposed to be panthers look like lions and the lion is the king of the jungle and the panther runs in the pack yeah yeah well, or either a hate that it's like you sound like would you go back to a hate that victimizes us the woe is me hate. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Right, right. They're doing this and they're doing that. You, the Jewish people have taken the atrocity that happened to them um, from Hitler and has used that as motivation. One of the things they always say is never again. Hmm. They go to show and they little tattoo from Auschwitz. You know what I'm saying? A little numbers on, and they say never again, and it has become resistance has become a part of the Jewish culture. Right, you know, true. coming from Cleveland, you go in there, a total Jewish communities that the dollar, their money goes around that community so many times because they have everything they need right there in that community because they understand the importance of communalism, the importance of sticking together, and how dangerous it can be to allow outside influences and forces mm. to come into a community and not so much just in their community in their everyday life, but also on a political front, that why do you think that we're back in that little piece of uh, that illegal state called Israel because of the Jewish lobbyist mm. you understand what I'm saying, so the African man, the black man here and the woman here in, here in America, like the, the manual states for us, we're revolutionary black nationalists, revolutionary pan-Africanists. Not only are we fighting for the freedom of black people here, but anywhere you find black people, anywhere you find people of African descent, and like the manual says, we want to end to criminal settlerism, exploitation of the mother of the continent and of Africa border. and artificial borders on Africa. So we have to fight. We've been detached from our homeland, and being detached from your homeland, man, I'm going to tell you something. The black man and black woman here in America is a uh, freak of nature is a freak of nature when you go to other places even the the, the island people you see some remnants 
of Africa mm. in their dialect, mm. in their mannerism, music, in their culture, everything. in their music, and mm -hmm. everything. The black man here in the black woman totally here in America alien. is That's totally that. alienated Ugh. from their origins, man. Mm -hmm. We're a freak of nature. We were talking on the phone the other day, and I use this example in my conclusion. If you saw a dog bar meowing like a cat, and licking milk and I'm trying to pound. climb. Right, right. You call the pound, you'll call you what you would call is Ripley's believe it or not. Right. You say, I got a freak of nature out here. Exactly. I would make millions. This is why they, they exploit this like they do in the sports and stuff. You'd make millions off that dog. It's a freak of nature. Yeah, you have people in the continent of Africa, you know, with weaves and Contacts and colonizers It's called neocolonialism. I mean, and they'll tell you to your face, you know, life is good here. Life is great. Mm -hmm. Life is great. Neocolonialism. Right. It doesn't. So how they, you? How do you convince it, a person with a palace? I mean, y'all seem coming to America. But listen, mm -hmm. let me tell you. I mean, you know, just because they. are on the mother, you know, like I tell people, I wasn't born in Africa, but Africa was born in me. Yeah, you exactly. did. So it's just because they're on the continent of Africa, that doesn't mean a damn thing. They're, right, they're right, neo-colonialists. Right. The British, the French, mm -hmm. the Portuguese, people came over there, and a lot of our brothers and sisters over there have adapted the same way we did over here. They have adapted their lifestyle. I, mm -hmm. I, and I feel we've just done it better than everybody else. That's and, it. And, and the because why, we had it since we got us. But I feel like the reason why we have done that, and, and like I say, uh, the, this mind control program, MK, MK Ultra, started in 1948 uh, during uh, op, uh, Operation Paperclip. Okay. Now, what we have to understand is that it ended in 1964. Malcolm was on the scene. The generation that we are dealing with is a generation of scientifically mind-controlled uh, youth, scientifically mind-controlled adults. Anybody born out of that era has some form of mind control in, in, in them. So when we're dealing with them, we're dealing with two levels. We're dealing with the level of history and knowledge that we're missing as blacks, but we're also dealing with that mind control, which to me, what obviously, that's the hardest thing to crack through, is to get the, 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 the either even uh, any race, why not? any race, to get them to understand that you're under government-sponsored control. But why not produce scientists and, and, and technicians to counter that? Mm. You know, I mean, we got we got a bunch of poor righteous teachers on mm -hmm. the streets talking about these mm -hmm. conspiracies. And they need not? to central, and you, I, I mean, it's so correct. If these brothers would get together and centralize and create the, uh, who knows, the National Centralized Department for uh, Mind Control Reversal, anything, but something that. that is going to help us, like you say, medically. One thing I want to talk about medically in the new nation, uh, we need to have how the ambulances and the uh, hospitals, they yeah. have different departments. How the police stations have different precincts. That's right. Uh, we need to have that. We need to uh, say... We are going to have our own black police force for this neighborhood, but we're not going to the police department to declare it. We're right, not going right, to the right. White House to ask for paperwork. We're going to say this is our law in action. If you don't want to respect that law, then face the consequences. Then we become military nationalists. But at first, we're diplomatic in getting these, uh, these concepts and, and, and staffs and councils together. Well, how do we get to the nucleus of that? Because for anything to establish, there has to be a council of agreement. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, because there's there has to be laws and bylaws of how these how these polices are conducted, what type of procedures they got, what you know, everything that comes along with it. We have to all come to an agreement. Well, what what is what with these new with with this new force? And I think that's where we we uh, introduce something uh, like a census form, where we send out a, a, a census. We do a census okay. from every single state where we have Panthers, even states that we don't have Panthers. Right, right. We send out a census uh, for this year, the next year, every year we do a census once a year, where we can uh, find out what's going on in this neighborhood right, right what's going on what do you want like i say you it's hard for you to ask me uh, as an interview what right, do right, right, right. i want because i'm so reliant on what does everybody want that it almost kind of puts what i want in the back burner but then when you go to the back burner you find out what the shit is burnt anyway what, what right, you wanted right. what you wanted was so small in compared to what you need exactly. as a nation and 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 you and you speak about i keep going to about it is the education and, and the health i think that's important absolutely, how are we going to have absolutely. a nation with no security education and health that's uh, right. those are the three largest um uh uh money making systems in every city for america that's right is the is the uh, health education and security those police three, yeah that's your three most making industries in the city and in, in, in a uh, nation that's right what we have to understand is that the reason why is because they're imprisoning so many they're uh incarcerating so many people mm -hmm. and this incarceration is the number one uh government funded money that they get from inside of the borders of america right. we do right. not export broccoli we do not export oranges apples we export death Hell, war, prisoners. We import oh, lies. We import military. We import weapons. Uh, I want to conclude in saying this. I'm tired of these groups like the ADL, 
Southern Poverty Law Center. Right. When oh, you yeah, can, when, when you can put something on the internet claiming that we are the haters, that the Panthers are the haters. Now this, I am speaking for the Panthers. When okay. you, when, when you claim that we're the haters, I want you to do something. I'm challenging you to bring proof of those uh, occurrences. Asata Shakur. Oh, that's all you got, hater? Because you are the hater. So, of course, it's easier for the hater to call those who are being oppressed the, uh, the, the haters or, or to make the victims seem like the ones who are being victimized. But here's the thing. In, in a real black nationalist, like the brother said, we don't want to be the victims. Right, right, we want right, to right. be the we want to be the judges to bring you to trial. But don't we have to participate in order for, like you said, the ADL or Southern mm -hmm. Parlors and the the AC, all these so called black leaders? Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I mean, aren't we help hurting ourselves by not participating? And now, now they're allowing them leverage. So the, the, you know, got the Fox News and CNBC that run to them. Absolutely, I think I think we're hurting ourselves, but we're also hurting ourselves by not realizing that uh, the majority of this situation is uh, is by white design. And when we can take that white design and not also not only apply, and it's important, not only to the black people, but we can apply it to the white population that they have wiped uh, and took the finances from them and classified them as what? Niggas. Mm. They have classified them as the same thing we've always known we were. And most of us are trying to get out of that mind control um, to have a system that is e so easy to pass on this hate word to another person, not a, 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 a people. Who have been involved in the transatlantic slave trade? Mm -hmm. Are people who have been involved in the in colonialism? Jews. How can you even sit back and, 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 and jokingly call a black nationalist organization as righteous as the new Black Panther Party haters? You have got to be I mean, either a liar or a or a or somebody who's feeding off of the negativity that some of the party do that does not right, reflect well, of the party. Well, they're, they're slick though. You know, the media they'll take sound bites from King <laughs> Samir, mm. from Hashim. They'll take. One or two individuals, and and the, and the mindset, and it, it, it's sad because the mindset of most Americans, black and white, is that that one person represents that the whole, whole party. party. So I think we need to break down that black structure, a, structure a, a troop as that council. First and foremost, a Black Panther is respectful, disciplined, militant, mm -hmm. um, uh, humble, uh, and 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 and, uh, and well mannered all the time. Okay. Um, if I'm out speaking. To uh, uh, constituents right. of whites, right. and not to say anything about, about Hashim or, or King Samir, I'm just saying they no, use no, 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 them no. as we are. We, we, this is black power, black love, black togetherness, black solidarity. We love all of our black brothers Absolutely. in this struggle. Absolutely. We we are the only ones who can critique our family. And when okay. the white man comes critiquing, we need to uh, listen to his critique, but fight in defense of our people, regardless of how we personally feel about it. We should never let a white man or white newscaster demonize our people, even if they are demons. We will do that ourselves. Right. Okay. Now, um, uh, now a Black Panther is not a off the wall, uh, a foul mouth type of uh, uh, revolutionary. Mm -hmm. These uh, values have been adapt, or, uh, have been inducted in the ADL's uh, hate group law because of the actions and rhetoric of some people who will even sit and tell you that I did not say that uh, for the Panthers. I mm -hmm. said that for Samir. I said that for Nazinka. I said that for Katit. Mm -hmm. Now, at the moment, I am speaking for the Panthers because if we do not stand up for righteous black nationalism, we're going to find ourselves in, a, in the same ditch that the KKK uh, are in now. Right, and right. when they started what they think, they thought they had the best idea in the world. Right, Let's true. say that we're the best. Let's say that we're number one. When we do that, we're nothing different. We just got black skin. Right. It is no different than me putting on the freaking hood and saying I'm a black supremacist. It's easy to be a black supremacist because all I got to do is say black power. All I got to do is say uh, black this, black that, and the white man came this. And the, what about political nationalism, economic nationalism? Right. First and foremost, a panther should not be discussing any military objectives, right. whether they be uh, agreed upon or not, in public. Right. That is blasphemy, black blasphemy. We should only be discussing the nine local objectives, the 10 point platform and how we can change and, and, and uh, bring together in solidarity to black nation. And that's it. So anything other than that will be blasphemy. So like the situation in uh, uh, up in um, Detroit, I mean, or Cleveland, Detroit, well, you know, the water. Yes, sir. Is that Detroit? The water is in uh, right now is in Michigan, Michigan. I'm yeah. sorry, D Michigan. Yeah. Like, like, I think a situation like that, I mean, and, and can we openly discuss strategic plans for something like that? I mean, that's something that that's I a think that that's that's the, the best thing to do is to openly discuss strategic plans Absolutely. when they relate when they relate to the infrastructure uh, and the sovereignty. But when they are plans that are talking about actually uh, using fatal 
force or using right, right. Uh, aggressive. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think that should be kept between the defense ministry and the, and the defense ministry's affiliates and the, and the regional find, local parties. But do you find that the, 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 the water issue as a part of a defense? Huh. Some people, people can say it's, it's you know, um, I've heard the term um, environmental racism, environmental uh, assault, mm. you know, and so that's why I, 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 I hear the militaristic side of it, and I agree with what mm -hmm. you're saying, one wholehearted one percent. But I think also dealing with the water and air, and and because you, if you look at a lot of black neighborhoods, you know, they're they're hurting us environmentally too. Mm -hmm. You know, because we don't get in, into the environments. You know, they, they dump a lot of, you know, tires and mm. dump a lot it's of chemicals. Specifically and, in the black locations of the town. Absolutely. And, 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 and this is environmental warfare. Warfare, right. We fight against this. Right, right. We fight so against we, this in the we, party. And this is, like you say, this is defense. But I believe that this is more infrastructural. And the reason why I say that is because, um, defense-wise, um, okay, so we need a separate system. But you do when it know comes there is an offense. Yes, yes, in yes. That. There's an offense in that because what they're doing is by not admitting that the that how you said that they have filtration systems by right. not admitting that they can put filtration systems. Absolutely, in, is a uh, is a defensive, offensive, and uh, and political warfare tactic against right. the nation. Absolutely. But also when we discuss it, let's break down and kind of create it like like us uh, church and state when we speak about it as Panthers. I'm talking to Panthers when we speak about anything that happens to the nation. When we're speaking in public to a public constituent of, of mostly non-Panthers, we have to learn to speak only for the public. And then when mm, we're speaking right. in, in, in that private Absolutely. setting, let's learn to curb and speak for the private setting, which is unfiltered because right. we're around our family. Absolutely. That's all that as, as, as a, 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 a chair for Atlanta, that's all I'm asking for, right. for future Panthers. That's all I'm asking for myself. That's all I'm asking for my comrades is to be insightful, not careful if you don't want to be careful. If you want to be reckless, that's your personality. I can't do nothing about that. But if mm -hmm. you're going to be insightful and intelligent, then we can, we can relate in that mentality. But to not be eloquent, to not be uh, uh, vernacularly trained, Mm -hmm. is uh, uh, almost blasphemy when you're calling yourself a, a, a spokesperson. And if, and if and, and like it says in the manual, if somebody in the uh, party is not doing it for you, contact and you can get help. If you don't know what to say, call the national chair. If you are afraid okay. that something you may say may cause you to step back, call the chair. And you can get all the answers, but we have to step up and be uh, diligent in our speech as Black Panthers. Now you have other groups out here that... Um now, because of the reputations of the Panthers, they feel intimidated, but a mm -hmm. lot of them want to reach out for certain uh, uh, types of, like, okay, there, there's an event, actually, this month coming up, there's, there's a Klan rally, and you, oh, it's, oh, oh, you know about it. Okay, so you have groups like, you know, groups like uh, the Anarchists, you have groups like the uh, the Bastards MC Club, you have the Outlaws MC Club, that are against racism, and want this whole this kind of like unity against the clan type of rally and want to reach out to the you know the the, the street tribes the panthers so I mean, what, which, I, mean you know, I, I, I ask these parties and this is a serious question okay. that I'm asking these parties and this is and this goes to what all the say? different uh, uh, okay. activist groups there was this unity when they uh, uh, well where is the unity when okay. they tell us to take your children into a school system or we will arrest you. And I'm, I'm trying to bring this po a political stage. Where is this unity where they say, uh, we are going to say no hoods or, or beanies in this store. Not because that makes you look like a bank robber, but because when you're a black plus you have that on, mm -hmm. that makes you look like a bank robber. We have to start to attack the issues that are affecting us throughout the year. And don't wait until something big happens that can get news cameras there. Something big happened that can get a, a press conference going. Uh, okay. If there's a little issue, uh, 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 a brother up the store, a Muslim brother, uh, were being, was being disrespectful to me and my sister. Mm -hmm. I told the brother, uh, this is a political tactic that you're using against us. And you don't even know it's political. So it mm -hmm. shows you how we can attack things that are not on camera. We can attack things that are not or, or, or known about. The things that are small communal things. 
grassroots, all of these activist groups that are going out to uh, uh, to protest on mountain should get together, and we should start a a a, 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 a citywide and regional wide Atlanta emergency food, water, and relief program, so that when okay. something happens, we can be in solidarity even when the lights are off. Okay, and I, and, I, and I'm, I'm I'm glad you brought that up because I, I want to have. Uh, you come back on, of course, yeah, and I want you because one of the one of the groups that I'm impressed with is called Cop Watch. Mm -hmm. You know, now they, I love the idea. I heard about. I right, love right, right. the idea. And, and I, 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 I love think, the idea. <laughs> I think, and I've always, you know, and and, and, and Yang will, you know, will, will agree. I've always wanted to bring, mm -hmm. and, and Yang, back me up. I've always wanted to bring the Panthers and Cop Watch to kind of, you know, kind of. Share some ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody lead nobody. I'm not over you. You're not over me. But just kind of. Yeah, we got to get out of that. We yeah. we are in solidarity. Like I say. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, local, I think regional, all over. Yeah, yeah, what they're doing is a good thing, and I think they can get away with some things that we, we may not be able to get away with. Yeah. You know? watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, but I like some of their, you know. Yeah. Just the, yeah. the, the, their ideas, you know, they want to use like drones and just. Oh, I'm yeah. all for technology. We oh, are, right, right, I'm right, right, right. All so, for technology, yeah. science, and, and okay. like I say, like you guys, keep, any idea that it can, is universal, then we can okay. take that okay. and fit it to the black or African man right. or woman. Then mm -hmm. how can you lose with a universal right. idea right. for us? Right. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, right. What, what's your take on that? Yeah. Thing? I mean, you know, anything that's universal, like you said, anything is universal. I think that one of the things with the um, the, the the party is that we're anti-oppression. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So any any people that are against oppression right. and fighting the same, what's the old adage? The enemy of my enemy is my, my friend. friend. Right. So any people that are anti-oppression, any people that are anti-exploitation, then we can work in, a, in in accordance with and in conjunction with. We're just saying that as a black nationalist party, as a people's party, that our primary concern and focus is educating our people to empowerment and liberation. You know, it's too many times that the so-called black organizations that are for liberation and empowerment of black people become integrationist movements. And when you become... No, no, I'm not saying integration. Yeah, yeah. No, no, right, I'm right, definitely so, not. It's just right. like, 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 let's just say you got two dignitaries, John Kerry yeah. and Vladimir Putin. Yeah. They're not trying to integrate. Right, no, no, no anything to, that... Yeah, they're anything trying to come together. Out. Right, they're trying anything to work Anything that out. we can... Man, anything that, like you I know, said, anybody... So I'm not saying that we, we have yeah. to integrate. No, I'm not for it. I mean, I know I'm you're saying, not for it. I'm just saying right, for I'm like just, what has happened with a lot of the black movements right. um, is when they start a lot of times when they get with See yeah, what would be good for exactly. That's why I say black with. nationalists right. have to step up to the table because when black movements get with European people, um, then their issues become pushed to the back. And that's what non-black nationalist groups. That's usually how what they get they down. Do. And this but is why I'm this, asking the black nationalist groups: Can we get together with cop watch and just learn some absolutely. Of techniques? That's absolutely, all I want. Absolutely, absolutely. I Man, like revolution, some of techniques, yeah. revolution is revolution. I think that, those techniques will work to some of our advantage. I, yeah. I think what the brother is trying to say is that we we, we have to work in solidarity. I mean, absolutely. we can we can all have our own personal missions, but the the, the messed up thing is that all of the missions coincide into coincide. one mission which is to free the black nation but then after that to show everybody else how you free how the you people do the right way absolutely okay, and that's okay. and that's what we're about like you said man revolution anything that's universal as a revolutionary i study everything from the cuban Re revolution the russian revolution with the bolsheviks mm -hmm. vietnam the chinese revolution anything that algiers anything that has to do with revolution then I think that, you know, that I study. So anything universal is universal without mi missing out or uh, um, losing focus on my primary objective, which is liberation and empowerment of African people. Yeah, yeah. I know we yeah. have yeah. an hour. Yeah, it's huge. So I want to... Uh Thank you for coming on the show. We, like I said, we, like, we, got, we got more shows. Yeah, like I said, we're going to deal with other organizations too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I, I, we need know. to do a special one just for the ADL. I'm looking at the ADL. I'm on on your tail. You keep on lying, I'm going to come and I'm keep on firing. You better we can't watch out. <laughs> let's get him. The and then show, let's have man. a showdown and then let's see how bad yeah. all that talking yeah. is live in person. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Uh, yeah, also, we, we want to meet me and Yanga got up on the pick with uh what, what are the, um, the what was the uh, uh, cop watch? I mean, not Copwatch, the guy, um, what's the brother's name? The uh, the the Atlanta something where the police, you're supposed to, they're, anyway. Atlanta Citizen uh, Review Board? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Lee? Yeah, Dr. Lee, man. We yeah, still got to yeah, deal yeah, with we that. Got, we still Shout out to Atlanta. Alicia. Yeah, we yeah, got to still yeah. deal with that. All right, so we about to wrap it up. Damn, that went by fast. Man, that hour Damn. zooms, man. Yeah, it zooms, man. It zooms. All right, so we out. Peace. We'll see y'all next go round. Next go round, man. All right.